I'm here with Jane Rose, the Executive Director of the Meridian Historical Village. Jane, thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm happy to do it. Okay. We're here to talk about the Meridian Heritage Festival, mm -hmm. which is usually done in the fall, but this year it's moved to July 1st as a part of the Celebrate Meridian event. Tell yes. us a little bit about moving the event. Well, normally we have it in September, and um, it's just, you know, Parks and Rec and the Friends of Historic Meridian. Um, but because of this wonderful opportunity here, I mean, 175 years right. for our township, certainly we wanted to be a part of it. So this year only, uh, we are going to ha have the festival on July 1st as opposed to in September. And created a, a couple of challenges, but more opportunities than challenges. Uh, some of the people that normally would be here and available to participate, because it's 4th of July weekend, they won't be. Okay. But I, th I know we have more than enough going on to, <laughs> right. to really bring people out. It's a free event, it's family friendly, uh, kids just love it. We're gonna have Civil War reenactors here. Okay. Kids can come and uh, drill with them. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, we're only going to be open from 11 to 4. I know that the overall event goes until 11 p.m. But our buildings will be open 11 to 4. Okay. And then at 4 p.m., we're going to close our, all our buildings because rumor has it there's going to be a battle here oh. in, in the village. You know? <laughs> okay. So we have to secure our buildings. Right, yes. right. So um, how many years has the Heritage <coughs> Festival been going on? Oh my gosh, at least 20. Okay. Yeah. And it's, I've actually never been to the actual Heritage Festival, but I've seen video and photos that we've yeah. taken. And it's just amazing to see everyone dressed up in the period dress mm -hmm. and they're, mm -hmm. they're in character. So tell yes. us about that. Um, all of our buildings will be open and we will have um, docents, volunteer docents in there um, explaining what the building is about. We'll have other people also demonstrating some crafts. Um, in our Barnes House Inn and Tavern, mm -hmm. we'll have uh, several people um, demonstrating textiles like lace making and weaving and so on. Um, we're going to have what we, who we call the sock lady okay. <laughs> in our red toll gate booth. Um, she actually has a machine from the early 1900s wow. that she uses to make socks and it's fascinating to watch her do that. Um, we're going to have entertainment. Okay. The Hazlitt Base Gracewood Singers are going to start us off at 11. They'll be in our beautiful village chapel. Um, the DJ clarinet group is going to be there at 2. Okay. So they're going to help us wrap up. And uh, there'll be a lot of fun kids' activities. Um, there'll be some food available for purchase. So I hope people <laughs> will come out and join us for that day because it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, and Jane, you are close to the 175th. You wrote a book. Yes. And you have um, spoken at various events about the history of Meridian Township. Why is it so important to inform even the younger generations about the history? You have to learn about your past to understand where you are. That's what got me so interested in history to the begin with. It's one question, why? Mm -hmm. Well, why did that happen? Well, why are we here now? Well, why, why, why? The more you go back and learn about the why, the more you understand and you can put it in context. And when you hear studies nowadays where even some adults don't know where their food comes from, right, right. you have to look to our past to understand our present and plan for the future. It's, it just has to happen. Jane, is there anything else you want to say about this historic year, 175 years, or the Heritage Festival in general? Well, we're really pleased to be able to have uh, partnerships um, now with the Civil War reenactors. Um, it's the 7th Michigan Volunteer Infantry Company B. <laughs> we will have the civilians up at the log cabin, and we will have some uh, soldiers camping out so that they can defend our village at right. 4 o'clock, yes. <laughs> so 4 o'clock is the re Civil War, the reenactment. Yes, it's called a skirmish. It's okay. just a small battle. Okay. Yes. Well, Jane, thank you so much. I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to celebrate Meridian on July 1st. Yes, and I hope to see you at the village.